Here in Hawaii, poke, which means small piece, is a very popular form of sashimi. Today you can find many varieties of this Hawaiian comfort food, and today I'm making spicy ahi poke. Now to make this ahi tuna recipe, you're gonna need one and a half pounds of fresh ahi tuna. And make sure when you get your tuna, you ask for the sushi grade, and don't keep this in the refrigerator for more than one day. First, I always like to rinse my raw fish under cool water, and then pat dry with a paper towel. Now we're gonna dice our tuna and we're gonna go against the grain of the fish. Get a few slices off the steak here. We'll set them up like that. We'll go down the middle. And then we'll turn this and do another half inch going with the grain. So there's your cubes. And just continue this with the rest of your steak. Now we're just gonna add this to a large mixing bowl. Now we're gonna dice up one red chili. If you want it more spicy, you can use two. If you don't want it spicy at all, you don't have to use any. First I cut off both ends, and then I cut in half lengthwise. Take each half, unfold it. You can just take your knife, carefully cut off the seeds. Some people like to use latex gloves when they're doing this because your fingers will absorb some of the spiciness and sometimes you can rub your eyes and get chili burn in your eyes. Out of finely mint, you just wanna cut these into little matchstick strips. Bunch them all back up together. And then we'll just take off a little bit at a time here. Now let's start with our minced pepper. Quarter cup of Maui sweet onion. Teaspoon of fresh grated ginger. Teaspoon of my garlic shallot puree. Three diced green onion. One third cup of shoyu sauce. One tablespoon of toasted sesame seeds and two tablespoons of Asian sesame oil. Finally, I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of chopped macadamia nuts. And if you can find the traditional kukui nut, go ahead and use those. And to chop these nuts, I just put them in a baggie, use a mallet and smash them up. Put these in a food processor and spin them around, it kind of turns into a paste. Now stir and chill for one hour. I like to serve this delicious Hawaiian recipe on fried wonton triangles. Fresh, authentic ahi pokey. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for tubing in.